Hi, welcome! So in this video, we're going to go through how to find the antiderivative of natural log of x using integration by parts. So basically, we're just doing an example problem, and that example problem is to evaluate the integral of ln of x dx. So right off the bat, this might not look like an integration by parts problem, since it's not clearly the product of two functions. However, if you don't know the formula for the antiderivative of natural log of x, we don't know how to solve this. And so when you don't know how to solve an integral, it's always a nice idea to try integration by parts. And in this example, it's going to work. So I'm going to think of this as one times natural log of x. So I'm gonna choose one as either my u or my dv, and I'll choose ln as either my u or my dv. So my options are one and natural log of x. So something to keep in mind when we're trying to choose u or dv is that you want to choose something that's going to get easier for you when you take its derivative. So when we take the derivative of something, we want it to become something easier to work with. And so here, I'm going to let u be natural log of x, because when I take its derivative, I'm going to get 1 over x, which just seems a lot easier to deal with than natural log of x. That means that my dv is 1 dx. So as I mentioned, the derivative of u is 1 over x dx. And then my v is the antiderivative of 1 dx, which is just x. So now that I have my u and my dv, I can assemble my new problem to solve using integration by parts. So first I have u times v, that's natural log of x times x, and then I subtract off the integral of v du. So that's minus the integral of x times 1 over x dx. So I should already be feeling better about this because the new integral I need to solve just has x's in it. It doesn't have any other functions like exponentials, logs, or trig functions. It's just algebraic. And typically I know how to do those with integrals pretty easily. And in this case, I actually see that these x's are gonna cancel out, giving me something so easy to integrate. So I have x natural log of x, and now I'm subtracting the integral of one, since x times one over x is one. The integral of 1 dx is just x, and so I have x ln of x minus x, and now I'll put on my plus c to represent a general antiderivative. And at this point, we have solved the problem. However, it might be good for us to just check and make sure this really worked. So let's take the derivative of our solution and make sure we get natural log of x back at the end. So to take this derivative, we're going to first need to use product rule on x times natural log of x. So we first take the derivative of x times natural log plus x times the derivative of natural log. And again, that's just product rule for derivatives. Then we subtract the derivative of x, which is one, and add the derivative of c, which is zero, since c is just some arbitrary constant. So from the product rule, I'm getting one times the natural log of x plus x times one over x, and then I have my minus one left over from the previous step. Now simplifying, I'm getting natural log of x plus one minus one. That plus one and minus one cancel, leaving me with natural log of x, which is what I was hoping for. So we can conclude that the integral of natural log of x dx or the antiderivative of natural log is x ln of x minus x plus c. Okay, so that's just a little example of how we can use integration by parts to help us solve antiderivatives like the natural log of x. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.